practice. Now, the annual media summit, like I mentioned earlier, is currently underway at uh, the Radisson Blue Hotel, and senior government officials and stakeholders in the industry are currently present at the event. We now want to cross over there and listen in. The media to be on hand to document these transformations. Key to the Big Four agenda is access to information and information dissemination. The media's daily task is pegged on access to information. On the Big Four agenda, we as the media will be looking to see what policies are being implemented, what funds are allocated and how they are spent, what is are taking place in society and what impact is the agenda having on the lives of Kenyans. We shall carry the voices of Kenyans as they engage with the Big Four agenda. We shall carry the voices of policymakers as they implement the agenda. But most important, we shall provide the platform for discussion and debate on the Big Four agenda. Debate seeking to streamline and meet the felt needs of Kenyans. We shall also seek to hold leaders to account on the tasks and resources accorded to them to implement the agenda. Good governance will be key in achieving the Big Four agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, but for just a moment, let us clarify what, in my view, is the, role of, the roles of different parties in the subject of governance. For, for citizens, the main role of citizens in a democracy is to participate, examine the options presented, and make a hopefully informed choice of their votes. After that, their role quickly shifts into holding the government of the day accountable. The prize citizens should keep their eye on is keeping the current government on its toes. Accountability usually involves investigation, and using the legal framework to exact justice from those who have abused office. The main responsibility for getting this accountability does not lie on the citizens. Rather, it lies with the government of the day as well as the media to bring wrongdoers to book within the ambits of the law. If they both fail to do this, that is failure to serve citizens who have entrusted the government of the day and the media to do the task of holding leaders accountable. The media fraternity in Kenya is in a state of shock today as we see events unfolding at the National Assembly with regard to threats and letters of invitation to journalists to appear before the Powers and Privileges Committee. The media plays the role of watchdog on behalf of citizens. It is the media that seeks to gather information package it and disseminate it to citizens especially for public interest. Journalists in the country and the world over wake up every day to find information and document the goings on in society, both good and bad. Naturally, those found doing bad will never be happy to be exposed. In our current case, Dina Ondari and Anthony Mwangi, both seasoned journalists at Media Max network limited groups, People Daily, have a nose for news and have dared to delve into governance and accountability in their investigative piece. Journalists are governed by the code of conduct and they conduct their business with, within the conduct. In this regard, every person in a position of authority or leadership must be ready to be scrutinized and to be held accountable for their actions. The media have a legitimate right to criticize any institution, including parliament, and even the presidency. Journalists are messengers. Journalists give a voice to citizens. Journalists look out for the interests of citizens. Journalists document and disseminate their observations and reflections of society. The Constitution of Kenya in chapter 33 and 34 secures freedom of expression and freedom of the media. The media fraternity do not think there are any exceptions in terms of where journalists can find their stories. There is no exception in terms of who journalists can investigate as long as they do their job within the confines of the practice of professional journalism ethics. We read mischief and perhaps lack of respect 
for the media in the so-called invitation to the Powers and Privileges Committee. But further, we are appalled by personal threats to Dina, a woman German journalist of repute. In this regard, the minimum the media fraternity expects is the respect of journalists and journalists are professional. The product of their work may not be everyone's cup of tea, but truth must be said, truth must be published, and where fault is found, then it must be dealt with. There are structures in place where grievances can be addressed. The Media Council of Kenya has a well-constituted complaints commission which has the capacity to address issues raised against the media. It is a structure that has been used in the past by former First Lady Lucy Kibaki and even President Uhuru Kenyatta. And there has been progress and amicable resolution in such cases. We hope the aggrieved parties will consider the Complaints Commission as an avenue they can explore to resolve the matter. The Complaints Commission is open to all citizens of this country without, without exception, and fair arbitration can be achieved through the process. The Speaker of the National Assembly is welcome to the Complaints Commission too. Corruption is a reality in our country, and we are convinced that as the media, we must expose it wherever and whenever it appears. We are committed to this as the media. That will be our in uprooting corruption in Kenya. I thank you. Uh, thank you, Christine. Can we have a bigger round of applause, please? All right, Christine Guku there.